Yo, what's up guys? It's Tyler over at the Honey Badger, here to talk about the Mini Badger. A couple things we've been hearing, it's clogged, no airflow, can't hit it. So today we're gonna show you how that happens, how to prevent it, and how to fix it. Let's get into it. So what happens is your tip, nine times out of 10, is gonna be your issue. Because if you look, you take your Honey Badger tip off, now as you can see, it's got a pretty big airway through it, but when it gets down to this channel, wax does build up in here. So as you can see, wax will build up in here and it's just an easy clean out. I like to use wax off in Q-tips personally. Get that airway nice and clean. Place those. So now where most of the clogging is gonna happen is inside this tip. So nine times out of 10, if it does clog, it's gonna be clogged back in here. So there's two ways to fix this. One, get your trusty little dab tool. I'd like to use the back end of it and you just wanna push it through and just give it some spins, not too much. Try to stay away from the wires on the top where it connects. And as you can see, I'm already pulling out a little bit of wax from back there. Another really good way to do it Honey pots. You can use anything that'll fit the same size tip and everything, but what I found is our honey pot container works really well to fit the tip. Drop it right in there. Get your wax off or 91% alcohol or higher when dealing with wax. So I'm just gonna start spraying that in there. Yep, back up, give it some shakes. Now this tip hasn't been very used and it's not the oldest tip. So you're not gonna see too much buildup come off of this one, but you will see the alcohol has changed colors already. There was that wax buildup in there. Um, so you just wanna shake that up, get that out. So I like to get a Q-tip, just kinda of roll it around in these holes. Try to get as much as you can. This back piece does come off. I always like to give that a nice cleaning as well. It's gonna be your connection pin. Always make sure your contact points are as clean as possible. Once you're good, I like to give it a little shake. Now, alcohol does dry at room temperature, but you always want to make sure all that alcohol is out of there. Once your tip looks nice, clean, and dry, screw it back in. Give it your five clicks, and you should be back running and good to go. I like to do a burn off. So when doing a burn off, screw your tip back in, start holding it. You're gonna see a little bit of residual. I like to do about three solid burn offs. Um, so that just means three full cycles on a charged battery. And that'll help you just burn off any excess. And you'll actually be able to see like some of your parts of your tip that were black before will turn white and burn off. You can see it cleaning up around the seam right there. Now that your tip's all good, clean, and ready to go, you're ready to dab. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you gave you a little bit of insight on why your thing may be clogged. The biggest number one reason I see this happening and what I noticed at the trade show when seeing people use it firsthand is slurping up your wax. And you wanna remember it's a very slow, steady pull the entire time. If you're slurping it up too fast or you can hear yourself sucking up that wax, you're hitting it way too hard. Tip looks nice. If you guys got any questions, any comments, any concerns, hit us down in the comments below. Let us know what's on your mind. Appreciate you guys. Later.